From time to time, we also invented products. So a short look on the product development of our, comp of our products. So all started, as said, in the year 1949 with the 6x30 binocular. And after that, we invented the rifle scopes, spotting scopes, several different products. But if we come, we come a little bit closer to, to, the, to nowadays, one of the main innovations was in the year 1991, when we introduced the 8080 spotting scope. So really, a, a spotting scope with a closed body and a perfect optical system, and this was mainly the entry in the bird watching segment. Then in the year 1993, we invented the rifle scope with the illuminated reticle. And in 1999, almost a groundbreaking innovation with the EL binoculars, with the wraparound grip, with that big opening in the middle, which set a new standard in the, in the design of a binocular. And that shape has been copied now many, many times, so it's still pretty successful from the outside design. In the year 2007, we introduced the Z6 first generation, so the first six times zoom rifle scope in a 30 millimeter tube with a big field of view. At that time, all the optical designers said it's impossible to produce a product like this. Even us, it took us quite a while. So we can count that for such huge innovations, we need about five years to really being able to develop it and then bring it to the market. Nevertheless, our optical designer managed it to design an optical concept with a six times zoom in a 30 millimeter tube. And we managed to produce it because optical design is one part, but producing it is a different question. And we also had to renew our machine park to being able to produce in such low tolerances that a six times zoom works with a good optical quality. In the year 2010, we have our EL binocular with the famous Svaro vision technology, so that special lens system with the field flattener lenses that result in an image which is completely sharp over the whole field of view and has no distortion at all. 2011 was followed by our EL range, so finally a binocular with a rangefinder integrated, but also there we had the approach that we don't want to make just a Me Too product, so integrate a rangefinder, that's it. Our approach was to integrate a rangefinder without having compromises in the optical quality. That took us quite a while to develop it. Nevertheless, still today, it's the only binocular with rangefinder which has the same perfect optical system like a binocular without it. 2012, the second generation of the Z6, following our philosophy constantly improving what is good, we improved everything that we were not extremely have what could be done better in the set six first generation. So we reduced the size of the illumination unit, made several small improvements, and the total package was even nicer at the end. Then we had in 2013 the HTX-STX, so our modular telescopes. Also another interesting innovation, first of all, in the optical segment, we improved the optical quality, and we had the first time a modular system in a telescope, like in the cameras that you can change different objectives. The STR telescope, so a telescope with the reticle that could be switched on and off, mainly for the sport shooting, tactical, or even maybe for the police and military segment. So people who are demanding a telescope with a reticle inside. And in the year 2015, the X5, our sport shooting rifle scope, the EL range next generation, yeah, the EL range new, so the second generation of the EL range, where we also improved the things that could be done even better. Just a second. 